Yes, I know, I can already hear the comments, and before you say anything, I have a haircut scheduled for Wednesday. Shut your mouth. Now listen, the vault cleaning craze is continuing, because here on the channel, we are cleaning out my vault in preparation for Witch Queen, and it is a pretty beefy vault. Over two hours went into cleaning out this bad boy, and this took place live on twitch.tv slash demonjoe. So if you're not already associated yourself with the Twitch channel, I highly recommend that you do. Link in the description. Uh, I basically took over two hours of footage and condensed it down in about 45 to 50 minutes of pretty high octane and entertaining footage uh, of the vault cleaning process while we were live and the interactions with chat and everything. I wanted to make sure it was an actual entertaining video so a lot of hours went into editing uh, if you guys could please leave a like on the video maybe subscribe if you're new around here to support the video I would definitely definitely appreciate it I put a lot of hard work into this um, and the last thing that I want to say before I go because I promised one of my twitch followers that I would shout out to Bryce for using my code on gfuel.com and supporting the channel an absolute legend if you guys would like to use my code on the website code nut or link in the description only sponsor the channel if you guys want to get some and get ready for for Witch Queen. Highly recommend it. One of my favorite drinks on the market. But guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video and enjoy. Vidoc tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Y'all are really gonna make me act up. <laughs> Demon Joe, Christ follower. <laughs> Show me where in the Bible it says that I can't deep throat a doorknob. <laughs> Chat, listen, dude, today we're cleaning our vault, bro. Yay. We're cleaning our vault, chat. Woo. Um, chat, so for those guys that, that are unaware, I have the best vault in Destiny. The best vault. You know, totally no nothing, nothing that needs to be dismantled. Everything needs to be here. Absolutely no duplicates. We don't, we don't settle for duplicates. We don't do anything. Zero duplicates of any kind inside the vault. So should be pretty easy clean. All right. A few things of note. Anything that is PVP related, probably gonna catch the dismantle. You don't need that many golf balls, Cap. I don't care what you say. I don't care. An email. I don't care what you say. I do need this many golf balls. You don't know. You don't know when Bungie's gonna make some kind of change where we're gonna have a shit ton of Ascendant Shards and maybe they're gonna take away the cap and then I'll be the one on top laughing. All right, I don't wanna hear it. These, my golf balls, all right, ain't going nowhere. They stay in safe. We ain't touching the balls. Mainly what I want to touch is the weapons today, though. I want to touch the weapons. So we got two chattering bones. I think literally both of these are just curated. Yeah, okay. So we can get rid of this one. Both are ass delete. Eh, yeah, you're right. Or are you, though? Yeah, you are. Ambitious assassin rapid it. Ambitious assassin triple tap. I, I don't like rapid fire frame sniper. I don't, is there anywhere in the game where you would use this? There's like nowhere where you would use this, like either of those. Duo harpy, okay, so I'm never gonna use it. Boss DPS, but when when have we ever used snipers for boss DPS, like any time recently? It does have flared magwell, which is actually kind of pog. Okay, fine, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Uh, Tiger spite, overflow, and swashbuckler. No. Oh, now this, I don't play PVP, but I will never get rid of this. Full choke, accurate, slide shot, snapshot with range. I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting rid of this. This is a five out of five. You cannot get better than this. I don't care. I'm keeping it. No, 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 no. I don't even play PVP. I'm keeping it. Astro better. Don't care. Uh, long shadow, triple tap, rapid, it, appended handling. Probably keep this. We got a bite of the fox, snapshot, opening shot. What do we think about this, chat? Bite of the L. <laughs> bite of the L. <laughs> I have 54 kills on it. Keep it because it's rare. Yeah, but I don't care about rarity though. I just care like if if it's good. Like I dismantled all of my sunset shit. Bite of the shit reticle. True. Okay. I'll get rid of bite of the L then. We got to make room for, for the, the witch queen shit, you know? Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I lied about this chat. I, I, I said that I've dismantled this, but I couldn't dismantle it because of the kills that I had on it, but because I got the, the Rapidit explosive right here. I know Rapidit is better, dude, but like, this is like my OG season of the Splicer Night Watch, bro. You made me delete it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that, dude. I made people delete this if they had the Rapidit one. All right, fine, fine, fine. 
fine, dude. I'll get rid of it, damn it. It's a freaking... Uh, the New Light Night Watch, man. It's so good. Okay. I'll get rid of it. It's gone. Blasphemer, handling, quick draw, opening shot. Weird. No, I hate this weapon. Uh, accrued Redemption. I'm going to keep this until I get a better one. Obviously, you want Archer's Tempo, Explosive Head. All right. Uh, cold Front, Subsistence, Rampage. Yeah, that's gone. Um, I don't care what anyone says. This is not going away. This I will never... I will never. This stays. This weapon stays with me forever. This is a dub. Hammer 4 is ambitious time payload reload extended mag. I don't care. This is a dub weapon. Even now, I like this hand cannon. Y'all can't make me get rid of it. All right, Eye of Soul. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I mean, the, the masterwork sucks. We'll keep the Eye of Soul. This was my OG quick draw opening shot Astral that had ass everything else. But I managed to almost get 2,000 kills with it. <laughs> But I'm getting rid of this because um, as much as I think this is cool, as much as I think this is cool, I'm going to delete it because for one, it's not a five out of five. And two, this, this the reason I'm keeping the toil is because it's a perfect roll. I get that this is good, but I still don't like pellet shotguns. The only reason I keep this is because it's a perfect roll. This is not even close. If you dismantle Astral and not Eye of Soul, I will scream. It's gone. L shoddy. Yeah, who needs it, dude? This I'm keeping right here. I'm not deleting the toil. No, no, you can't make me delete the toil. We're not deleting the toil. <laughs> this we're keeping though. This is my favorite hand cannon in the entire game for PvP. I like this shit better than Ice Luna. I just, I don't know. I don't know why Ice Luna just doesn't feel right. This is the shit right here. Rangefinder timed payload. The problem is that 120s and PVE feel like absolute trash. So even though that's a cool roll, it's not really worth keeping. Plus Rangefinder doesn't really do much for you. If it was Overflow, maybe. Keep, it's FWC. Yeah, but is FWC worth keeping anymore because Lakshmi went off the deep end and tried to kill everybody? Listen, th here's the thing. We gotta be, we gotta be aggressive, okay? Because, because Witch Queen is coming out. We need space. We need space for Witch Queen shit, man. And I'm not gonna use this. It's cool to have, but I'm not gonna use it. But... Boom, baby. <laughs> Delete all non adept now that is that is the giga male way to go about it if it's not a six out of six get rid of it shampoosta thank you for the follow man oh man i remember chasing this escape velocity it's got the og drop mag i remember chasing this escape velocity ever since season of arrivals dude joey and over a year has passed and you have 300 kills Okay, fine, fine, fine. We I'm not I'm not going to use it. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I'm not I'm not going to use it, but it's cool to have. Okay, we'll circle back. We'll circle back to this, okay? Succession with lead from gold, succession with reconstruction. Uh this one I use for uh GMs. This one I would use I don't even know if I would I even use re mm. This one does have extended mag. This one has extended mag too. Recon W, L from gold. See, here's the thing. I have a thousand kills on the lead from gold roll. I have 171 with the recon roll. I've like used the lead from gold one so much more. I like lead from gold, dude. I don't know where the lead from gold hate is coming from. I don't know where the lead from gold hate is coming from, man. You, you, get, you, get, you get ammo from your teammate using Aeons on a champion. You know, where's the lead from gold hate coming from? And I got reload masterwork to, to complement the fact that I don't have recon. So this is like the perfect one that you could get. I, I, I'll keep both. I'll keep both. Even though if it were up to me, I would probably dismantle recon and you guys would get so pissed, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We'll keep both. We'll, we'll circle back. We'll circle back. Yeah. Handling assault mag, auto loading recon. Yeah. I can't, can't get rid of that. That's a W. I'm torn on this. I'll let you guys decide. I think that this is a good roll, especially if 120s come back into the meta. What do we think? <laughs> Steady L. <laughs> All right, chat. We'll we'll get rid of freaking. 
Well, okay, the Iron Banner rework is going to be happening at some point anyways. So the Iron Banner rework is going to happen after the Witch Queen season. So yeah, new banner hand cannon anyways. Cause when the rework happens, it, it you know, we'll probably be able to re-get this if needed. This right here, the adept targeting, somebody called Blue Flame Blade. We got snapshot, surplus, range, appended mag, which is eh, this could be accurized, but then we also have hammer forged. Isn't this the best roll you can get on ISO? Well, I mean, I guess compared to this one, snapshot opening shot versus surplus snapshot probably would just i mean the only thing that's cool about this one is that it's adept this one isn't but you also can't get this roll anymore so this one's like super og i don't play pvp though that's the thing roach like i don't play when i play pvp it's only when bungie releases new shit and i don't snipe in pvp either unless you count duality keck w so i'll probably i'll probably get rid of this type an l in the chat if we get rid of this i have soul i didn't realize how fun vault cleaning would be on stream let's go baby all right all right all right we'll get rid of it screw it i'll keep both archer swash l hate swash buckler feeding frenzy multi-kill clip l not keeping that uh, why do I have two Wither Hordes? I don't know. Um, here we go. Cernary Rendition. Appended Subsistence One for All. Masterwork's kind of trash. I don't know if I'll get a better one before Witch Queen, though. L no Rampage? Dude, Rampage is awful. What are you talking about? Here's the thing with Rampage. You need to kill three enemies to get Rampage to proc. With One for All, you just need to hit three enemies. And then you get a bigger damage buff than Rampage, you know? Uh, okay, okay, we're getting rid of one of these. Rapid it one for all, or moving target Desperado? Which one is getting the clap? One for PvP, one for PvE. It's it's weird, because I don't like this weapon in either mode. I don't like it in either mode. I don't like it for PvP, because it's too slow of a playstyle. I don't like it in PvE, because it feels like such a slog to use if you don't have Desperado. Delete both, easy? Well, bro, that's all you had to say. I'm getting rid of the Desperado one. I don't care if it's, I don't care if it's adept. Goodbye. Multi mock, we have stability, accurized, dynamic sway, kill clip. Only problem, I don't play PvP. Goodbye. All right, here we go. Chroma Rush, feeding frenzy, kill clip, subsistence, kill clip. Uh, subsistence, kill clip, handling, accurized. Okay. Feeding frenzy, accurized. Ooh, this one has range though. And the range on this thing is trash. Oh, and it's got hammer forge too. But I get more out of full bore. I think, okay, I keep the Feeding Frenzy one just because the range on Chroma Rush feels like trash. And so that's going to help it out as much. I would rather subsistence here. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, ignition code. Slide shot, blinding nades, one for all, velocity. No blinding and spike. Oh, shut up, dude. Cornbread, thank you so much for the follow, man. All right, we have my, my six out of six Fate Bringer. My favorite barrel, my favorite mag, my favorite two perks, my favorite masterwork, and it's time lost. Never ever getting rid of this. And then we have another one with a worse masterwork. And okay, yeah, so this one gets gone. Osmosis opening shot on the Braden's Revenge? Yeah, that's gone. Rabbit explosive payload and subsistence firefly. L plus Nightwatch better. All right, we'll keep this one though because this is a unique role. Also, I don't have my my correct shader on this thing. If you guys want to make the adept uh, hung jury look like regular hung jury, Gambit Chrome is the shader that you want. All right, Volpecula with Outlaw Headstone. Problem is that Ice Luna is a better archetype, you know? So Volpecula is an L. We'll get rid of that. We have a Shoot to Loot Explosive Payload. This is a very interesting one. Because obviously you get an S tier perk here. Shoot to loot could be nice, but it's pretty niche. And then accurized. Don't want to hear it, L. Okay, fine. I was trying to make a case for it, but we get rid of it. Okay. Next up, we have Fractivist with range, accurized, quick draw, opening shot, corkscrew. I don't play PvP. Yeah, and no full choke, so L. Peace Bond. <coughs> Tunnel vision, swash, accurized. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm never gonna use this. If it doesn't have headstone, it's gone. Okay, so servant leader, subsistence osmosis. This one's decent. Surplus kill clip. This is the best one I have. Heating up is worthless. As much as I would like to keep this, I don't have enough space for it. So we'll get rid of those too. 
servant leader is awesome all right um slide shot opening shot judgment i occasionally use this to the yo zone. coming in hot with the five gifted subs Nut. my man putting us six subs within 300 total so i occasionally use this when i don't feel like using dire Boom, promise baby. you know more aggressive deletes let's see it i bet no case to be made ensemble times payload l demo osmosis we'll never get rid of this we'll never get rid of this don't care plus ratio plus great first stasis build uh demo adrenaline junkie i'm never gonna use it dynamic sway it does yo <laughs> subsistence frenzy subsistence multi kill okay so this one is actually disgusting for casual content like actual disgusting like the 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 yeah i keep this dynamics way dazio that we get rid of shepherd's watch i'm torn on this tack mag led from gold firing line with a handling master work what do we think will it ever be useful i don't know man like is it really that bad because this can get like the what 25 percent extra damage like i don't know dude this is actually a really cool shader hold on let me get rid of my face cam look how sexy that looks man this is one of the coolest shaders that bungie ever introduced i'm gonna keep this one we might come back to it and give it the clap i'm gonna keep it now we do have another one no distraction snapshot that's gone you got one crucible kill on it that's gone all right is lunas outlaw headstone rapid headstone rangefinder snapshot gonna be honest this roll is good l plus dire promise okay so here's my problem here's my problem with these two right i thought i was gonna like rapid it i thought i was gonna like rapid it i really did i told people from the get-go rapid hit was the play i think i prefer i think i prefer outlaw because i've used both of them a pretty decent amount and i just could not get behind Rapid. i don't know why it was just so weird maybe it's because i don't know i didn't feel it i, I wasn't i i love rapid it. it's one of my favorite perks in the game but i don't know it just outlaw headstone just had a feeling like if you one tapped a red bar for instance right and you got the headstone to, to come up and you shot that it was just such a quick reload without needing to hit other enemies so as much as i simped for how much i thought i was gonna like rapid it i didn't like it in the end so we're gonna get rid of that pardon our dust auto loading blinding demo and we also have a aggressive role with spike ambitious vorpal what do we think obviously i'm not getting rid of this this is i mean this one even has spike on it so this is literally the best role you can get what do we think about this one i get that this one is pretty nice ambitious with with spike and vorpal but like i don't know if i'm ever gonna use it yeah yeah and and what blue said i feel like if you are gonna use a weapon for damage yeah ignition is gonna be better than this ignition is objectively gonna be better because of how much more damage it can get off so we're gonna we're gonna clap this one now this i will dismantle eventually because i don't have full choke on it when i do get the right roll I'll probably end up dismantling this. Shut up with L from gold, bro. It's the best perk in this column. All right, so we're, dude, we're done with the first page. We've been streaming for, God, 48 minutes. Here we go, second page. <laughs> Mita mini tool, baby. The most underrated SMG in the game, baby. We probably gonna have to give this one the clap, dude. I like the Mita mini tool though. I think it's a cool weapon. I, and plus I got the freaking, I got the ornament for it, bro. I can make it like, swagger i'm gonna dismantle it because we can get it back from um from collections but i do think this is an actual underrated uh smg i feel like people sleep on it too much all right tyranny of heaven this roll is bad but i don't have another weapon to take its place also this shader is the best tyranny of heaven ever like shader uh i would dismantle this but i don't have another this is the only solar bow in the game so yeah elbow but solar so we keep i think even if this archetype got a buff what's the other what's the other perk you can get there can you get it like kill clip even if this archetype got buffed i i don't like rampage as a perk unless it's on machine guns so i'm gonna have to get rid of this now only ogs are gonna know about the techie and force oh my god this is the this is the one too for months we sat 
and ran Last Wish and, and got the chest so that we could guild the badge. So that we could guild this badge. This was the last thing we needed for months. This is an OG, like, whenever I first started back playing Destiny kind of thing. Did I ever put that in video form? Let's see, let's see if we have the nostalgia in video form. I did one stream highlights video. Did I ever feed? I got an ad on my own video, bro. Oh, here we go. We do have she it. She is an apex predator. God damn. <laughs> God. <laughs> Every item that Last Wish can offer. The exotic, the sparrow, the ghost, the ship, all the armor sets, all the weapons. But I can't get a techie on force! It's just go- Oh, Joey, here. Oh, you want techie on force? Here's an apex predator again. I <laughs> hope you like that. Please, please, just, just... Please! RNG gods! I will literally let you suck upon my balls! And that's a- that's a- that's a good thing. Please! Please! I'm so orange. Please! <laughs> okay, well, at least, at least, like, the, the backstory is there, right? At least the backstory can live. Outlaw Dragonfly, the old Fatebringer role, dude. The OG Fatebringer before Fatebringer was in the game. 6,500 kills on the dot. I, I know I'm not a big Dragonfly guy, nor am I a big, like, really good for casual content guy. But this is just like, this was the Fatebringer before we got Fatebringer. All right. Rangefinder kill clip. Why do I have enough? I literally have another nation in the form of Waking Vigil, but it's just a much uglier weapon. All right. That one's gone. This one right here. Waking Vigil's getting a buff. Waking Vigil's getting a buff. This one has range, ricochet, rangefinder, kill clip. Does Is it worthy? I don't even know why I'm asking chat. Okay. Bout safe. This is the best bout safe I own. It, this is this is as good as it gets. This is as good as it. I have never gotten a freaking explosive payload bout safe. We're probably gonna be farming for bout safe before Witch Queen comes out. Like we're gonna do it again. So I, I will dismantle this because we're probably gonna be getting better ones. What's the shader? Uh, Jackarina. Retold tail. I actually really like this. Full choke, tack mag, handling, field prep, one two punch. This is my energy equivalent to Wastelander. All right, so this is the this is the arsenic bite that uh, Gunsmith sold. This is the the god roll that you can get. This one's pretty much like as good as it gets. It's not gonna get any better than that for the arsenic bite. And then I have a rampage archer's tempo, which I was using before. I'm gonna get rid of that one. But yeah, okay. So let's move on. This is the best gnawing hunger I have. I, I I'm not gonna get rid of this one though because I don't have a better one. Okay, last prediction. Outlaw kill clip. I have the OG drop mag on this thing. God, that reload speed. You guys see that reload speed? I go from, from, to drop mag, I lose six bullets. I get, I lose two bursts, but I get two massive. Look at that reload speed, man. So I'm gonna keep this. I don't have anything else to replace it with. All right, chat, who's, who's gonna clip this? Who's gonna clip this and send it to Maddox? Extended barrel handling, accurized, rapid it, range finder on the ancient gospel. Goodbye, sweet prince. I've had you since I first came back to Destiny. But your time is nigh. <laughs> Feeding Frenzy opening shot on the Prophet of Doom. An absolute, just godlike weapon here. The Reckless Oracle with ricochet rounds, outlaw swash with almost 10,000 kills on it. This was the first weapon I ever got from Ga Garden. But here's the thing, dude. I just, I, it, I gotta get rid of it. I'm never, I haven't used it since i haven't used it since i mean there's just no reason to keep it bam feeding frenzy surrounded on the arc logic i have a better sorrows verse than this if this was like overflow frenzy i would keep but that's a gone that's a goner all right point of the stag okay i'm never gonna use this bro demolitionist surrounded seven seraph sidearm i don't even like sidearms um seven seraph cqc with the range, Akurai, slide shot, snapshot, don't like pellet shotguns. That's a goner. Vorpal, fourth times, Akurized, full bore reload on the 7th Seraph SMG. I would never use this over Ikelos. 
Overload SMG. Yeah, but when would you ever use an SMG over an auto rifle, Don? Because SMGs are just weapons that are going to put you closer to harm's way comparatively to an auto rifle. So what bonuses do SMGs have over auto rifles and in-game content? I just don't ever see myself using an SMG in a GM. Like, ever. And Obscura does have a point. This is a 600 RPM, and it does, if I get rid of my face cam does have really, really good range. So if I were to use an SMG in a GM, this would probably be the one because I mean, the range is ridiculous. It has fourth times and Vorpal for sustained damage and for 20% on champs. You know what? Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I prefer the Ikelos, but if I were to use in GMs, uh, I, I, would, I would use this. Okay, fine. We'll keep it. My prize possession, not going anywhere not going anywhere hammer forest armor piercing range overflow rampage 7,000 kills this is not going anywhere until the uh the new summoner comes out until the new summoner comes out where we get a new god roll for it hopefully a better pve one i yeah i keep this if you deleted that i'd scream my neighbors would call the cops this is my prize possession dude i this is such a i love it i love summoner if if summoner comes back with like frenzy or one for all, yeah, we 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 love we love that. Felwinter's lie. I can just get another one, but I'm not gonna use it. Timelines vertex. Is this even? I'm not a fusion rifle guy. Is this even good? Snapshot firmly planted. Was this like a Zer thing? It's like the best PVP one, but PVP. Yeah, but I gotta keep some PVP weapons because I am playing Trials next season for the new loot. Okay, so we'll keep this. We have Ambitious Rampage, <laughs> Killing Wind Rampage of the Deafening Whisper. Obviously, this one is a dub. Reload Masterwork too. Yo, Dark Fox, thank you so much for the follow. Reconstruction Rampage. I'm gonna be honest. A controversial opinion. I like this hand cannon. It's just I would prefer one for all here. I, I actually do like this hand cannon a lot. This is reconstruction rampage extended range. This is really great. Yeah, but blue, this thing can get like 40 in the magazine. Unlike the hung jury, this weapon gets like 40 something in the mag. That's why like it doesn't matter. I don't care. What do you mean 40? This thing holds like an auto rifle's worth in the magazine. If I do get a one for all one though, I'll keep it. Uh, trusty with surplus wellspring. I am never gonna use this thing. Sars and shadow with sur er, surplus disruption and a feeding frenzy kill clip. I'm gonna get rid of the surplus one. You'll get way more use at, well, yeah, wait, no, we have the BXR. We literally have the BXR. And I don't like this archetype. I'm gonna get rid of both of them. So part of me wants to keep this because this is a rare, this is an adept, right? Not many summoner adepts are out there, but yeah, and it is coming back and that, you know, whenever it comes back, it's going to have another adept version. So no reason on keeping that. Glacioclasm. This is the best one I got. I'm going to keep it because you can only farm it once a year. I'm probably never going to use it though. Maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll use it. Who knows? Uh, truth teller. It's probably the best truth teller ever that I've gotten. Obviously demo would be best here. But yeah, like 4,500 kills. Fourth times the charm, kill clip, ricochet rounds, sidearm. That's actually a solid roll. I agree. No, 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 no. This one's full auto. I've made it very clear. If I am going to use a sidearm, it's got to be a burst sidearm or full auto. This is full auto. It's got fourth times. This is a PV PVE, really good PVE roll. Then we have auto, auto loading disruption and we got our PVP god roll death adder here with accurized range dynamic range finder it's actually really good in pvp but it's pvp uh this right here auto loading disruption not bad i'm gonna keep this one i'm gonna get rid of the pvp one uh we have a lead from gold trench barrel icolo shotgun part of me kind of wants to keep this but if like trench barrel gets a buff i'm gonna get rid of the icolo shotgun Iclo Sniper, fourth times, high impact. Maybe if we get, in, I'm gonna keep this for the fact that in case we ever get into like a sniper DPS meta ever again, maybe sometime, I'll have this. It's not good now. It might be good later. Uh, we have two Iclos SMGs. So we have my OG one from Arrivals, TAC Mag, Threat Detector, Demo, Surrounded. It does have a, a stability. This one has like 11,000 kills on it. And then we got the new one after subsistence got buffed. Reload speed, Seraphron, subsistence, four pull. Um, 
I really, really, really like subsistence. I would rather this be something else. All right, first in, last out. Handling, salt mag, auto loading, vorpal, full bore for what, that range? Yeah. This is a five out of five, not going anywhere. Imperial Needle, only Void Bow I have that's legendary. The roll is trash, but just like with Accrued Redemption, I gotta hold on to this. Far Future with the Quick Draw opening shot? With Stability Masterwork? That's gone. All right, Igneous Hammer. Ooh, this one has the, the cool shader on it. Stability, High Cal, Rapid It, Moving Target. I like this one. It's got the shader on it. It's got the it's got the the really cool cobalt like shader on it. We have a rapid it rampage. This was I have to keep this. And I'm gonna tell you why. This was the first igneous hammer I got after I played Trials of Osiris with Blue for the first time. Me and Blue, the first time we ever played Trials was on Exodus Blue. I went flawless, and this was the first hand cannon I got. This was back during the Rampage meta. Back during Season of the Chosen, if you guys remember, I used to be a bit of a PvP main. That's why I can freely talk shit about PvP, because I played a lot of it. Um, and yeah, these these 2,600 kills was pretty much a, only in that season. Um, but I was a PvP main in Chosen because Season of the Chosen didn't have as much PvE content as I would have liked. Obviously, when Season of the Splicer came out and we got Vault of Glass and Override and Expunge and way more PvE shit, that's when I stopped being, you know, I think I only went Flawless and Splicer once. And then Season of the Lost, I was a PvP main for the first half because Astral Alignment is so trash and like the PvE content sucks. But then the 30th anniversary came out, and then I started playing PvE more. So, you know, I, I've, I've dabbled in the ways of PvP. I gotta keep this, though. This was my first ever, like, flawless reward in Chosen. I gotta keep it. Now, this is a, a Killing Wind Celerity Igneous. This one's 310 kills. I kinda, I really like Celerity. I know not a lot of people like Celerity. I actually really do like Celerity. The reload speed alone and the, and the handling I'm a big fan of. But... We do have this one right here that has rapid hit on it, and it's got the funny shader. I'm going to keep the funny shader igneous, even though it's not adept. I'm going to keep this one for sentimental value. I'm going to get rid of this one. Shadow price. Overflow one for all. Surplus disruption. I'm never going to use the disruption one. It's a cool roll. I'll never use it. This one, I already get a decent amount of use out of. I like Sorrows Verse more. I, I used to think... I used to think that Shadow Price was severely underrated and just a really good auto rifle. I have fallen out of love with it as I started using Sorrow's Verse. I'm gonna keep this roll regardless though. If this if this archetype does ever get a buff, I'm gonna be the first one on that Shadow Price train. Boom, baby! One hour and 15 minutes and only on page two, stop hoarding Joey. Hey, we've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, all right? Let's be fair. Let's be fair. I've gotten rid of a lot of shit, all right? Palindrome, overflow, one for all, range, high cal, hammer forged. This is about as good as you can get. PVP palindrome, we dismantled. We dismantled stuff earlier uh, for PVP because palindrome is so dominant in PVP. So this is the one that we keep for the energy slot. 140, one for all, L. Listen, Blue, that's because palindrome is the only, is it the only void hand cannon? It's either the only void hand cannon or the only good void hand cannon. It's the only good void double hand cannon. Ikelos is not good. It rolls with triple tap Vorpal. So it's a 180. I don't want to hear it. Ikelos is not good. Bottom dollar is not good. Paddle. No, bottom dollar is not good either. It's impossible to get a good roll of, and it's a 120 L plus ratio. Palindrome is the only good void hand cannon. It's mid at that. It's a mid hand cannon, but it's the only good void one. And when I say it's mid, I mean for PVE. Bottom, dude, bottom dollar is not goaded. 120s in PvP or PvE feel like trash. Now, bottom dollar can get a good roll like rapid and explosive. It's got nine in the magazine. It shoots super slow. I don't know. I think 120s, dude, 120s in PvE don't feel great. They feel like trash. Like Igneous Hammer, I used to have a really good Igneous roll. I just, I don't know, man. Rapid and explosive payload is the only time bottom dollar is good. And your chances of getting a rapid and explosive payload bottom dollar are either winning the lottery or if Xur sells one. Oh no, I agree with you, Don. Explosive payload. That's what I'm saying though. It, it needs to have explosive payload to be good, you know? But it's so hard to get that roll. 
Now, Frozen Orbit, Triple Tap, I have been chasing a Triple Tap Vorpal or Clown Cartridge Vorpal or Lead from Gold Vorpal roll on this thing for so long. This is the best energy sniper in the game for general use. And it sucks because it's so hard to get a good roll on. This is basically energy succession if you get the right roll on it. I got to keep it though. That's the, this is the best one I got. Bottom dollar. I've used this one a little bit in PVP. No, I'm going to get rid of it. That's gone. Third Axiom. The reason I'm keeping this is because I can't get a Darkest Before God roll. And the Third Axiom, this is one of those weapons that you need to win the lottery to get a good roll of. This one has range, appended, or flared with Feeding Frenzy 1 for all. <laughs> Enemies defeated, zero. Because if I, if I need an Arc Pulse Rifle, this is the only good one. Cartesian... Charge time, accelerated feeding frenzy purple. That's not going anywhere. All right, the third page. It's been almost an hour and a half. We've seen the light, the third page. Let's go, baby. The third page. We are down from like 450. No, 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 no. Listen, we were at like 450 out of 500. We've dismantled over 60 items. All right, we're doing good. We are on world record pace right now. All right, back at it. Eternal Blazing, Rapid It Kill Clip, Overflow Disruption Break, Rapid It One For All. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's a little too, too, um, it has to be anti-barrier for one. It has to be anti-barrier if you're going to get Disruption Break out of it. And it's just, it's too situational. So what do we think? Rapid It One For All, Rapid It Kill Clip. This one has less than, it has a less than perfect masterwork. This one has high cal rap. Yeah, this one's probably the one. It's also the same archetype as Nightwatch, so proccing one for all is so much easier. All right, Grid Skipper, Tunnel Vision, Multi Kill Clip. That's it. That's an L. Vision of Confluence, Wewind Wounds, Firefly. I have a, I have a time loss version. Found Verdict PVP roll. Nope. Found Verdict PVP roll again. Gone. Yeah. So this is the one that I wanted. Well, it, no, it's not. I wanted Frenzy here. But Vision of Confluence is one of the only weapons in the game, and it might be the only weapon in the game, that can roll Wellspring and a damage perk at the same time. Normally, Wellspring rolls in this column. For some reason, it rolls in the first column on Vision, meaning that you can pair it with a damage perk. Unfortunately for me, the best one I've ever gotten is Kill Clip, and yeah, I agree with Alex. This is one of the most underrated scout rifles in the entire game. It's got one of the best sights. It feels fantastic, and it can get really unique perk rolls on it. Plus, this one has high cal. I'm keeping this one. This is this is honestly one of my favorite weapons. Found verdict. I, why do I have this? Is this a PvP roll? Full choke range. Yeah, this is gone. Why do we have this? Uh, we have a controller god roll for the occluded finality. Ricochet, snapshot, opening shot, handling. Only problem is I don't play on controller and I don't snipe. This one's gone. Shaira's killing when kill clip. The everything else or the the mag is like a is pretty mid. I mean it's okay. You know reload faster when mag is empty. It's okay. Would much prefer attack or appended here. But this is not only adept. It's also the best one I've gotten. And Shaira's is really good for PVE. This is the best PVE perk setup you can get. Because this is going to help a damage fall off right as you get your damage buff. So, can't get rid of that. Yuzume, Bottomless Grief, and Vorpal. This is the best Yuzume I've gotten. I'm going to keep this one. Why do I have Killing Went Cornered on a plug one? We getting rid of this. Uh, let's see. Borrowed Time. Feeding Frenzy Demo. Threat Detector Surrounded. And Overflow Demolitionist. I might make some people mad with this. I tried so hard to like borrowed time i hate it i hate borrowed time i hate borrowed time i hate it so much i hate this i hate that smg it has like 25 in the magazine and 99 percent of the time i use that smg i am reloading and i hate it it's one of the only smg it's one of the only weapons in the game where you feel almost forced to run backup mag as a mod on it it's good it's a good SMG. I just hate it. There's a difference between a weapon being bad and you disliking the weapon, right? A lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't like 180s as, as an archetype. You could say you don't like vision, but vision can still be a good weapon. I think borrowed time is a good weapon. I just don't like reloading after holding the trigger for one second. That's where I stand on that. I just, I can't. I, 
didn't change my opinion. I just, I don't like it. Spike nades, lead from gold, multi kill clip. This was good before Warmind Cells got nerfed. This was, this was pretty meta before Warmind Cells got nerfed. I'm going to keep it in case they ever get buffed. This is my only blinding nade empty vessel, but no one really uses like specific elements when they're using blinding nades. All the, I mean, this one is pretty good though. Genesis Disruption. Oh God, man, I'm kind of torn now because that actually really synergizes super well. I'm gonna keep them both. Uh, Vision, Ambitious Swash. Me and Blue talked about this recently. Blue, there's a better perk here, right? For Vision, one for all. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, so we get rid of this. Stochastic variable, baby. My lifeblood is this weapon. 6,300 kills, one of my favorite casual content weapons in the game. We keep that. We absolutely keep this. Wolf Tone Draw, Draw Time Masterwork, Archer's Tempo, one of my favorite bows. Hold on to that. Chrysura Mellow, um, decent. If the if the archetype ever gets a buff, Frenzy would be the role here. Multi-kill clips only for casual stuff. Welcome to the come So we get rid of that. We have two Tunnel Vision Rampage Forge's Pledge here. I don't like either. I don't like this weapon. Plus we have the BXR, so L plus ratio. This is a goaded roll. Threat detect, threat detector, surrounded, extended mag, or armor piercing with reload. We do have that fourth times the charm multi er, kill clip roll. I'm gonna keep this because it's so hard to get a good roll of. I thought surrounded was bad. No, surrounded's not bad at all. You get bonus weapon damage whenever you're near enemies. So I'm gonna keep this for now. We might come back to it and decide between this and the iron banner one. Yeah, blue. Um, this right here, this roll isn't perfect, but it is one of my favorite weapons in the game by far. I will choose this over Shadow Price. I will choose this over uh, Arc Logic any day of the week if I could get the right roll. I love Sorrow's Verse. It makes me think of Wrath of the Machine. Uh, you know, if, if Wrath of the Machine ever came back, this makes me think of Genesis Chain. Uh, sir, I'm keeping this Swift Verdict only for a video. I have a video concerning Sw uh, Swift Verdict in some way, so we are gonna keep this, but I will dismantle it after. Uh, sudden Death, Full Choke, Accurize, Slide Shot, Snapshot, Handling Masterwork. I don't play PvP. Goodbye. All right. Uh, long Walk. This is basically... This is basically Energy Succession. Just like with Frozen Orbit. Clown Cartridge Firing Line. This is a really good roll. We got that one not too long ago. Uh, Darkest Before. Oh, yeah. Third Axiom. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of this. I do have a third Axiom. Okay. Uh, Jurassic Green, Rangefinder, Dragonfly, Heating Up Adrenaline Junkie. I'm going to get rid of both of these. Neither of these are great, but yeah, it's not it's not something worth keeping. Uh, next up, we have Contingency Plan with Outlaw Kill Clip and an Outlaw One for All. This one is definitely PvP. This one is PvE. Full, fully automatic scout rifle. And I can't I can't say goodbye to, to either of these. I can't say goodbye to either of these, man. Like, yeah, I don't play PvP often, but this is such a fun role. Your tweet about the Vidoc announcement had me crying. Thanks for making my day. Yo, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I don't care what anybody says. Best solar hand cannon in the game. Tac mag, triple tap, time payload, masterwork is an L, but annual skate, one of the most slept on hand cannons in the game. I will die on the hill of this. All right, 1,000 yards here. Triple tap demo, triple tap golden tricorn, and quick draw snapshot. Thousand Yard Sierra is trash. Uh, Matador. We have a retold Tail God roll. Full Choke, Tac Mag, Lead from Gold. Which one's... Hold up. We need to... We need to compare these. Does Matador having more impact? Is that a bug? Retold has more in the mag. I think Matador would have slightly better handling when, whenever it's masterworked. Do we take the extra handling or the one in the mag? I don't think it really matters either way. Although I do think I would rather field prep than lead from gold. Plus you guys keep calling it lead from L or L from gold. My bad. So just because you guys have been so consistent, but you guys have been talking shit on lead from gold. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cap it back to the vault, baby. We are 366 out of 500. We have almost dismantled 100 items. Uh, BXR. This is my five out of five. God roll right here. Hammer fours, accurize range, demo kill clip. Uh, this one is PVP. Goodbye. Retrace path isn't getting buffed. Only the exotics are getting buffed. I will do subsistence one for all. I'll keep it just because it's a one of its kind, but it's not getting buffed, so that does make me sad. Um, sleepless, I'm keeping this for a video. Abide the return, I'm keeping this. I have this for a video chat, so don't get mad at me. I'm gonna get rid of this one though. Avalanche, yeah, keeping the avalanche. This is like the only good solar uh, machine gun, a good decent one. Seraph Saw. So we have two auto-loading Vorpal. I think I looked at this one the other day on stream. This one's bad. This one's like slightly worse. Auto-loading Disruption and Grave Robber Firing Line. Firing Line's cool, but 
yeah, you're, you're wasting a perk slot there. If heavy GLs get buffed, this one, Blast Radius, Spike Nades, Auto Lightning, Full Court, gonna keep this one. Uh, we got the OG Falling Guillotine with the double perk column. We got Honed Edge, Sword Masters, Relentless Whirlwind. We got the cool ass ornament for it too. Yeah, keeping this bad boy. I don't care if it doesn't have Jagged. This is my OG. If I deal slightly less damage, I do not, I do not care. Uh, Code Duello. This is getting a buff with Witch Queen. Uh, auto loading, lasting impression. This is going to do more damage than the other rocket launchers because of its frame. So we'll keep that. Uh, Sola Scar. We have Relentless Strikes, uh, Vorpal, but then we also have one with Chain Reaction. The only reason you use Sola Scar is because of Chain Reaction. Maybe this would be decent <clears throat> if they like maybe buff swords in some kind of way. I don't know, but eh. It's taking up space. We got Witch Queen weapons to grind. Rabbit at Vorpal, we keep that. Bottomless Grief, one for all. We got two Bottomless Griefs. Okay. This one has stability. This one has stability. Okay. Mags? Tack Mag? Mm, no, I like, I like Flared. I like Flared Mag well more. All right, get rid of this one. Uh, Royal Entry. Uh, I think it goes up one. So precision frames are 0.95 times and aggressive slash high impact are 1.05 times. Uh, this is the best Royal Entry I have. This one right here, bad. Uh, this is the best tar uh, Tarantula I have. It's the only arc linear, like legendary arc linear. I'm gonna keep it just for that. This is the best, wait. Does corrective measure roll back around? Because I need a better one of these. This is my favorite machine gun in the game, and I have a bad roll of it. Oh, yeah, we farm this tomorrow. That's what we do. We farm this tomorrow. Has in vengeance, just like the other one, getting a buff. Don't have impact casing on it. Hashtag shard. But overflow, lasting impression, got to keep that. Archon's Thunder, Rampage. And I don't think it can get a better first perk column uh, perk, can it? It can get field prep. My chances of getting a Archon's Thunder with field prep is next to none. I have to keep this because Rampage is the only time that Rampage is good is in is on a machine gun inside of in-game content because it can shred through enemies so easily. Obviously, field prep is better here, but this is an Iron Banner weapon. You got to practically win the lottery to get a God roll. I'm going to keep this for now. Oh, dude, we're almost at the end. Relentless Strikes Vorpal. Relentless Strikes on this weapon is uh, eh. Vorpal's even worse now. This is Goner. Canis Major. Vorpal, Clown, Spike. Maybe if these get buffed, but Vorpal just got nerfed recently, so no. Uh, Hothead. We are going to be farming a Hothead on the last week of uh, Season of the Lost because Lake of Shadows is going to come up. Hothead is going to be farmable. So we're going to go for a Field Prep and Clown Cartridge roll for um, Gallahorn. This is the best reads I have. This is the best Hero of Ages I have. This is the only Ear Edge Sword I have. And then we got Relentless Strikes and Energy Transfer. So this one is gone. All right. Um, so I guess we can just move on to armor. I'm not going to spend as much time on the armor, but that is all the weapons. It took us almost two hours to get through three pages of weapons. We dismantled 100 items, chat. We dismantled 100 items. We were previously at 450 to 460. We are now at 354. We dismantled over 100 items. Um, this is good for Goss, but I don't care. Hollow Fire Heart, we can keep. Boom, baby. This one's a definite goner. Now delete 100 more. Oh, stop. Yo, Ozzy, thank you so much for the sub for six months. Good. Thanks so much for the sub, Ozzy. Hope you're doing well, man. Um, Actium War Rig. Let's see, let's see. We got two Storm Dancers. Both of these kind of suck. Just gonna get rid of this one. Doesn't really matter. Uh, all these severance enclosures. We got, I mean, we gotta keep these bad boys. You know what I mean? We gotta keep these bad boys. All right, here we go. Recovery. Does, eh. Eh. I think I already have all the armor that I actually use on my Warlock and Dim. Let me check really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. See, because if we look at my Warlock's armor and Dim right now, if we look at my Warlock's armor and Dim, oh, that's zoomed in a little too much. Uh, the chest pieces I have, like this is the current chest piece I'm using. I don't think I need the other chest piece. <laughs> I don't think I need the other chest pieces. This one obviously has good intellect alongside the recovery. I mean, this one's pretty stacked. 
this one's stacked so yeah any of them that are in the any of them that are in the freaking vault i'm just gonna dismantle them oh wait no this is a good intellect one i got i do gotta keep this one this one is worth keeping the other all of them are not uh the 25 25 this one has a stat boost this is 22 24 right yeah tw okay so 25 25 22 24 the dream bay one is actually better than this one so we can dismantle this one uh how knowledgeable is adept versus not adept weapons i'm asking because i have an adept reads with firing line but the first perk is trash so is a regular adept reads more the regular one is better joshi uh adept weapons the only time that adept even matters like on, on reads regret for example what welcome to the come zone all right let me finish my thought the only time it matters is uh, uh a big one spec to make it where you don't need to worry about whether you're shooting a champion or a boss or like an orange health bar it doesn't matter you'll always get the bonus damage that's the only other reason to even care ollie with the four gifted subs putting us at a total of 300 subscribers dude i haven't seen the number of subscribers that high i'm not even kidding in like over a year because i you guys know that this year, ever since the new year, I've been focusing on streaming more. I haven't seen our sub count that high in so long. Ali, thank you so much for the four gifted subs and everyone else that has been subbing with Prime, gifting subs, showing love. Thank you so much, man. If you're in the stream, make sure you tell the man thank you for the love and affection he has bestowed. This is Artifice Armor, so we keep it. Temptations Bond, that's Goss, don't care. Um, this is artifice armor with good roll on it. So I keep this is also goss armor. Don't care 342 out of 500 chat that is gonna do it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh Wait, no, those are different. Okay Yeah, that's gonna do it chat. That is our vault cleaned That is our vault cleaned My lord we dismantled over a hundred items like it's no business so we have a uh, 158 slots for witch queen i do want to make it known that um i did aside from armor because i normally don't change my armor i literally cleared out like all my characters so that was like pretty much all of our weapons aside from like obviously i'm not going to get rid of the other half i'm not going to get rid of ascendancy savagers you know uh i did keep this one though this one i am keeping for a video even though the roll was trash but dude that is the vault clean cl cleansing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I honestly might turn this into like a, a a YouTube video, maybe. I don't know how. I know people on YouTube like vault cleaning videos. I don't know if if, if it's even worth doing it. Maybe, maybe people will like it because they get to hear me talk about weapons. I don't know. We might do it. I might I might turn that into a YouTube video. You guys got to see it live. Vault clean, but so many sparrows. All right, listen, listen, listen. The reason I have the sparrows is because I'm not witch queen prepping. I didn't witch. I, I didn't prep for Beyond Light. I didn't prep for Season of the Splicer. Whenever it came to those raids, uh, did not care, you know. But what I did do is I did prep Glimmer, and I did prep Ascendant shards because of constant masterworking stuff. Because you will run through Glimmer in a new expansion like no one's business the bounty xp couldn't give a shit about i'm gonna level up my artifact anyways doesn't matter it just gives me something else to grind for and i like to grind i don't want to start day one and just have a bunch of shit done for me already so i am getting i, I want to get more of these because i need a few more but this is for glimmer you dismantle these you will get glimmer out of it so really if we don't count the sparrows we have a lot you know even more space here Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that person that came in the stream earlier that was talking about my Vidoc video. <laughs> this shit's got like 18 replies. <laughs> then I didn't realize so many people saw it. <laughs> Thou shalt refrain from slaughter on the knob. <laughs> no that is so funny. <laughs> oh my god. That is so awesome. Dude, that is hilarious, man. This thread is awesome. Oh shit, dude. I love posting stuff like that on Twitter. Like, literally... Chat, I lost more follows today. I, I lost more followers today. Like, I literally would get on Twitter and I will tweet random shit 
Like, bro, my ass cheeks hurt. Like, that was the first tweet of the day four hours ago. I just woke up. I'm like, you know, my ass hurts. I'm going to tell Twitter about it. I literally tweeted that and immediately lost two followers the second I did that. It is, it's so funny. Like, I think people follow me for, like, serious content. I think they follow me for, like, serious content, and then they see shit like that, and then, yep, they're out. Never mind.